Shalom, Shalom, all praises to the Heavenly Father, Abinawa, Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach, Yahusha, peace and grace to all the beloved out there, all those baptized in the Messiah for remission of sins and laying hold on eternal life and pushing the apostles doctrine, man, pushing the resurrection, okay, and eternal judgment, man, peace be upon you. All right, so today, man. I want to say double honors to all the righteous elders in the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, all the righteous elders that's pushing the faith for Yahweh Shah, peace and grace and love. Um, today I want to go into a dream or a vision I had about a couple days ago, which I had about I had about three of them. I had about three visions, uh, which was about a couple of days ago, which I want to speak on a couple of these visions. I'm going to uh, bring out the scripture. This is um, Acts chapter 2, verse 17. It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, which also proves the new covenant. Because the Lord is going to pour out his spirit so we can come back into his covenant, come back into his uh, grace, man. We've got to receive the spirit of the Heavenly Father, which is the baptism of fire, receiving the spirit of the Lord. Okay, if you don't receive the spirit of the Lord, you can't get the kingdom without the spirit of the Lord. Okay, they tell you the kingdom of God is a uh, joy in the Holy Spirit. Let's get that real quick. To come back, because that's what the kingdom is about, man. Having the Holy Spirit to guide you. See that? Not you guiding yourself. But the spirit guiding you into all truth. Okay? So this is uh is it Romans? Romans 14 and 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, right? It's not a, a ghetto party. But righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. <coughs> so that's what the kingdom is about, having the most high spirit. Which the Most High is pouring out His Spirit on His beloveds in these last days, man. Right? And uh, a lot of brothers and sisters have been having uh, visions these last days, man. Right, a lot of visions, a lot of dreams. Right? Which, uh, you know, with dreams, you gotta have discernment, man. Because uh, some dreams are from the Most High. And whether they be good or bad, it's still from the Most High. Even if it's confusion. <laughs> right? Because the Most High is in control of everything. The scripture says the Most High declares unto man what is his thoughts. And the preparation is in the, uh, in the heart of man and ask the tongues of the Lord. So, sometimes you might have a dream where the Most High is trying to get a message across to you or show you something. And some dreams uh, could be Satan messing with you or either um, you know, you just got a lot going on. Right? There's a scripture in the Apocrypha that says, uh, dreams cometh by the multitude of business, man. So, um, you know, with me personally, man, the, the dreams I had had nothing to do with, I've been looking at, I ain't been looking at nothing like this for me to dream nothing like this. So, you know, I'm kind of tripped out on this vision, which it wasn't even a dream. It was a vision. I was falling asleep and I had seen a vision as I was falling asleep. Okay, it was a picture, pretty much like a picture or a vision, something I saw, right? Which is Acts 2 and 17, it shall come to pass in the last days, say God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions. Your young man shall see what? And your young man shall see visions and your old man shall dream dreams. So dreams and visions are synonymous, man. Okay? That's that's when you're in the spirit, man. The Lord is showing you things, man. And um, I had three visions this past week, right? Which my first vision was... Uh, I'm not even going to go into detail, but my first vision, I had a, I had a, a dream and a vision. It was about... Uh, some weird, I seen an evil pig, man. You know, that was kind of weird. 
And that was my first vision. I saw some type of pig, but it had a terrible evil countenance, man. Like, like it was, it was crazy, man. Which to me, when I, you know, got out of that was that, uh, you know, some evil spirits working and, uh, doing their, their, uh, their dirt and their evil that they do, right? Because we know that the uh, evil spirits jumped into the swine in the gospel. So, you know, that's what I got out of that. I've seen an a evil spirit or a, oh, I've seen a, a, a pig that had an evil countenance. Like I've seen, a, I've never seen a mad or angry, I've never seen a pig that looks like he was angry or mad. Like, like it was crazy. Like you could see the demons on this pig and his vision I was having. So that was one vision, which I don't know if that represents somebody or something like that. I don't know. Then I had two more visions. Then the other day I was uh, I was falling asleep, days dozing off. I'm playing my new song that is recorded, and I'm just playing this song as I'm falling asleep. I got the song playing, boom, boom, boom. The song just keep playing, and I fall asleep. The next thing you know, as I, I'm dazing off and falling asleep, I have a vision of a so-called a Caucasian woman, man. It was a Caucasian woman. I seen a Caucasian woman's face and she was normal. She was like a regular Caucasian woman. And then next thing you know, the vision transitioned to this lady transforming pretty much and uh, turning into some different type of creature, man. She turned into some walrus she looked like a walrus, like her teeth started getting all big. He had two big, big teeth at the bottom. It was kind of very, very weird. And uh, it was like she she turned into a walrus, man. Which uh, I don't know what that 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 was supposed to represent. Which I'm, I'm, I'm I don't know if there's supposed to represent um, CRISPR and gene editing technology. I don't know if that's what that was trying to symbolize. But it, it it definitely seemed like it like it was talking about CRISPR or something because uh, there's no way that she just she just altered like that like it was like she just changed or her DNA altered I don't know but I do know you know about the cartoon I used to watch on Little called Street Sharks when these guys had a uh, pretty much got uh, altered. You know, and uh, turned into sharks or whatever. But this lady in this in this dream, she tra she basically basically transformed into something that looked like a walrus, and that had me tripping. So from the vision went from there. Then I had one more last vision, and this was the main finale, man. The last vision, I was uh looking, and I was just looking, and I just saw something on my right I saw something on my right and it looked like some type of like a, a, a different world or something I don't know if that was like a different world or what the heck but uh it looked like some type of some type of different realm or spirit realm or something I don't know but what I do know is I looked to my right in a vision as I, as I dozed off when I had dozed off while I was playing my song this happened a couple days ago. I'm dozing off. And I had the vision about the, 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 the woman turning into something that looked like a walrus or whatever. And then uh, right after that, I go to some other like room, which it seemed like it was a room or like a, <laughs> a, heaven, a heavenly chamber kind of. Because it was like all blue. I think it was blue. It looked, but I, I don't know where, where it was or what it was. But what I do know is, I saw a man, beloved. I saw a man, beloved. To the right, I look to my right, and I see a man with all white woolly hair. He had on all white woolly hair, and it looked like he had on a garment, but the garment was kind of like rainbow looking, man. It was. It was kind of crazy, man, because I, I don't think I've I never seen nothing that looked like that, man. And I was kind of, so right after I seen it, I seen a man with all white hair, most I'll be my witness, 
Um, I didn't got crew. I seen an all white, all white hair. And uh, right after that, I seen some, he had some type of like rainbow garment, man. It was like a rainbow garment, man. Some rainbow type of suit or something like that. I don't know if it was a suit or what, but it looked like a rainbow type garment, bro. And uh, it was it was crazy, man. Which uh, you know, I'm not sure who that was in the spirit I was looking at, but I know what I saw, and I saw a man that had on a garment that looked like a rainbow, man. All right, so I'm gonna get the scriptures that speak about uh, the, the rainbow in the spiritual realm, right? Because there is a rainbow in the spirit realm. And I was in the spirit or in a vision and I seen a man with a garment like a rainbow. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I don't know if, if that was supposed to be Lord or what. <laughs> right? But this is uh, Revelation 4 and 3. And he that set, and he that was because y'all know when John the Revelator, when John wrote Revelations 1 and 14, that was a vision. He had a vision of the, of the Messiah, man. So you can have visions of the spirit realm and things of that nature, man. If the Lord show you these type of things. Right? So I got Revelations 4 and 3. And he that was to look upon like a jasper and sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, man. <laughs> Talking about Yahweh's throne. There's a rainbow. Right? Which I didn't see a throne or nothing like that. Right? Or a rainbow around the throne. But I saw a man that had on a garment that looked it like a rainbow. <laughs> it looked it like a rainbow. And when I say the glory of Yahweh is like unto a rainbow. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is, man. That's the glory of the Lord. And uh, whoever that was that had that rainbow, rainbow garment on, they had the glory of the Lord on them. Right? And then we got uh, <coughs> Revelations 10 and 1. I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head. So this, this is an angel, and they're comparing a rainbow, uh, having like a rainbow countenance, man. Right? And his face was as it were the sun and his feet as full as the fire, man. So, you know, in the spirit realm, we see the rainbow is like unto the Lord's glory, man. Which I want to get another one. I'm going to get a... <clears throat> see which one I want to get selected. Uh, I know it's one in Ezekiel. <coughs> Uh, that was crystal clear. Uh, 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 you know, a, a, a heavenly, a heavenly being, man. That was clearly a heavenly being, beloved. Clearly, had that that uh, rainbow garment on, man. And when I seen the rainbow garment, right after that, that vision was so so quick that right after that, I didn't see nothing else after that. So like right after I seen the rainbow garment. It's like the vision just started to fade away, man. Like, it was like so quick. Like, it was like he showed me that and then he just took it away so quick. It was weird, man. It was weird. But, uh, it definitely was a vision, man. So I'm going to go with, uh, I know it's Ezekiel. It's Ezekiel 1 and 28. Or I started, uh, start at uh, 25 and there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads and when they stood it had let down their wings and above the firmament there was uh, that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne as the appearance of sapphire stone which that's what I think I see it was like a blue realm and upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the man, appearance of a man above it, which I didn't see no man on the throne in this vision. I just seen a man with a rainbow garment and he had like white hair, bro. 
and I saw as the color of amber, as the appearance of fire round about within, from the appearance of his loins even upward, and from the appearance of his loins even downward, right? Which I didn't see that this guy wasn't like on fire in a vision or nothing like that, right? And I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about, as the appearance of as the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness round about. So he's seeing that rainbow uh, appearance, man. Right? Right? As the appearance of the bow, right? The fire he's seeing. It was just like as the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud. Right? This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. When I saw it, I fell upon my face. And I heard a voice of one that spake. Right? Which I didn't hear anybody speak. But I seen that rainbow garment. You know? What was that about? I have no clue. But peace and blessings, Israel. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe most I'll pray. I don't know, he revealed to me what that was supposed to mean. I'm not sure, but I do know the scriptures also speak about uh, brothers having white garments and, and uh, you know, wearing white and um, the house shot wearing white and all that. But you do see the, the, those rainbows, they talking about them rainbows, uh, you know, among the throne pretty much. There was a rainbow round about the throne. Yeah, man. So I'll pray to see y'all.